we're gonna have to pull into ourselves. That's not a bad thing. It's, it doesn't really matter what line of work you're in. Networking and being well connected is super important. I'm always going to recommend it. Always have that plan A, that plan B, that plan C. It's amazing. It's opportunities. That's what networking is. That's what being well connected is. And listen, I have met so many people at my local sauna. I have met doctors. I have met surgeons. I have met business owners. I have met so many people at the local places around me, right? And that is definitely for free. And that's something that I just off the bat recommend, but we're gonna get into different ways that you can network, okay? Now, if you have social anxiety for whatever reason, or you don't know how to come up and talk to people, these other things will also be beneficial and helpful. One thing that I'm gonna recommend is Facebook groups. And I know a lot of us, Facebook is that app that our aunties and our mom uses to post about the dog's birthday and, you know, our kid, the kid, the grandkid turned six and whatnot. But Facebook actually has so many amazing communities that can teach you so, so much. I recommend getting on there. Now, let's just say you don't know what you want to do with your life. Let's just say all you know is you want to be financially independent and work for yourself. There are Facebook groups for that. There are Facebook groups for budgeting. There are Facebook groups for clubs. It's just another thing that I recommend, join clubs. Whether it's the book club, the writing club, the singing club, the dancing club, join clubs. Most of the time it's free and if they charge anything, it's little to nothing, but join the clubs. The clubs that align with what you want, the clubs that align with what interests you, clubs that align with where you're headed. Even if you don't know where that is and you, all you know is the basic things that you just want in life, maybe it's only real estate, doesn't matter. Join the communities. All you have to do is type in the word like finance, money, soccer, dancing, club. It gives you so many options. I'm sorry, fake plant, I just hit the fake plant. It gives you so many options for different groups that you could join. Even if you don't interact with the groups, they post so much amazing information. These are the communities and the people that you want to be around. These are the people and the communities that are going to take you to that next level, that are going to help you take you to that next step. A lot of the times, the circles that we're in make us feel really comfortable about ourselves, makes us feel really comfortable about where we're at. But when you surround yourself with people that have hobbies, that have interests, that are pursuing the things that you want that feel good to you, it will encourage you to also take that step. Now, another way to network is to go on LinkedIn. I recommend working on your resume first and then adding it to LinkedIn. If you want to work on your resume, I recommend paying somebody the 50 to 100 bucks. They make the template, they make the resume look nice. If you get another job, you just add things. It's very easy, it's very convenient. Get on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, there are jobs, you can build connections. It's super important. Now, here's the thing. Even if you have a job that you really, really like and that pays you well and everything is great, it's always important to never put all your eggs in one basket, never. I mean, me in general, every time that I'm on here, I'm preaching multiple sources of income all the time. I'm always gonna be big on that. I recommend that regardless if you have more than one source of income or not, that you are always looking for something better that aligns with your values. All of these things are really great ways of networking. Also guys, don't forget that we have social media. We are so connected on social media. It's so easy to look up something, to look up somebody and find people that are either making content in that niche or that are aligned with that thing. So easy. Use Facebook to your advantage. Start following people that align with you and what you want. Start interacting with their content, start talking to them, initiating conversations with them and start interacting less with the people that don't align with what you want in your life. I'm really big on the fact that taking your life to the next level does take you focusing more on you. That's just how it goes. We're gonna have to pull into ourselves. That's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing. Even when you have kids, it is never a bad thing to pull into yourself. It makes you a better partner. It makes you a better person. It, it makes you somebody that's dependable, somebody that can do more, provide more and in ways that are easier, so much easier. So I 110% guys recommend that you use all of your tools. You have a lot of tools with your phone. You guys know that on my YouTube channel, I talk about different ways to make your phone work for you. And there's so many other ways that I still have to talk about, but nonetheless, take it and run with it. Make your phone work for you. It's a tool, very much so. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you tried any of these things or if you just have any questions down below and I will go ahead and answer them. I'm so glad that you guys are here and I wish you the best of luck on your networking.